So tips, minefield for beginners and sometimes intermediates as well. Which tips to use, what they can fit, and what are those little things that come in the packets. We're about to look at all those things and hopefully answer all your questions. So smash the like, hit subscribe, all those things help the channel grow. Let's jump in. Depending on what machine you've got, you're going to have a different guard. Graco units, generally now you've got the blue Rack X guard. And if you've got a blue Rack X tip, they're not going to be suitable to spray straight away with one of the green FFLP, LP, or the new uh, version that Graco brought out, the yellow ones. Well, they just rebranded the green ones to make them yellow. You get the same seat in there. Here I've got two Graco guards. Might look the same, you might think they're the same, but the way to tell the difference, take the tip out, have a look at the front, see that hole in there, then look in the front of that one, see the hole in there, that one's small, that one's big. So if you're ever stuck and you've got two guards and you don't know which one's which, the bigger hole is for the blue Graco tips and the smaller one are for the Graco FFLP or LP tips. You see we've got that one in there which is the small hole. So the small one go with the green or the yellow ones, the FFLP or LP. So again, big hole is for the blue ones, small hole for the FFLP. Graco only work with Graco, so you can't get a Tritec or a Wagner tip and expect that to work in that guard. It just doesn't. Because Graco brought out the little lip that actually locks in the guard, so you can't pull it out. Here's a Tritec. I can put that Tritec in any way. twist it and it just pulls out because Graco bags it that with their patent I'm gonna guess so yeah Wagner Tritec they fit the same as a Wagner tip there that's in twist it so what do the numbers mean generally there's three numbers on there sometimes there's four for the super big tips but let's keep it simple and look at the ones that got three numbers on. When you buy your sprayer in the beginning, you're more than likely going to end up with a tip that's a 517. What that means is that's the size of the hole. That's the size of that little hole on the front. They're called switch tips as well because you can reverse them. So an easy way to work it out is take the first number times it by two and that gives you the width of your fan in inches so if you've got a 517 the first number five times it by two is 10 quick maths that's about a 10 inch fan from about 10 to 12 inches away the second two numbers those two numbers are the size of the orifice of the tip simple terms the size of the hole so the bigger the two numbers the bigger the hole the bigger the hole more pain can go through if you've got, say, a 210 tip, 2 times by 2 is 4, so you've got about a 4-inch fan. The 10 is, again, smaller than the 517, so it means it's got a smaller hole, so it's not letting as much out, so it's better for fine finish. So you'll use something like a 210 or a 310 when you're doing your woodwork, say, doors or skirtings, architraves, things like that, because you're going to be at a slower pace not letting as much paint through so you've got more control and you're not lagging shed loads of paint on so another let's throw it out there we'll do a couple a 619 6 times by 2 is 12 so you've got about a 12 inch fan so point and then the 19 means it's letting out more paint again than a 517 so it's a good option for spraying ceilings or when you're doing a lot of emulsion walls and ceilings again Again, it depends on what your machine's capabilities are, but some of the standard ones, their max tip size they recommend are often 
a 0.21. Now you're very rarely going to be using that, I'd say, and a lot of people won't sway away from a 619 because that throws out a lot of a lot of paint, and some people don't feel like they can control it very well. So a 619 is good productivity and gets you spraying wide and putting a decent amount on. Another thing to note when it comes to tips, even numbers are generally fine finish and odd numbers are generally not fine finish tips. So the fine finish ones will atomize probably a little bit better there. This is slightly slower, more controlled. So choose a brand that you want to go with. Again, something I always recommend is have a little arsenal of tips. So some paints don't like some tips and brands and other paints like others. So say I'm trying to spray a certain paint with a Graco 310, fine finish, low pressure, <laughs> and that's not spraying very well. Well, I might have a Tritec Ultra 310, and that might spray a hell of a lot better than that one. Don't know why, it just does. So in an ideal world, you'd have a, a couple of different tips in your arsenal just in case you start spraying and something's not working very well. What I have noticed is with the, especially with the Graco fine finish low pressure tips and the low pressure ones, but mainly the FFLP, if you're trying to spray woodwork and you're trying to get a, a nice fan, always do your test fans. If your paint's too thick or your pressure's too low, you're gonna see a star shape. Or well, what you're gonna see is it'll look like okay but actually on closer inspections, it's real heavy in the middle. So you're at, you, what you're gonna get is, you're gonna get like a heavy, heavy, heavy and light. So if you start spraying a panel or some MDF, you're gonna be lagging it on real thick in the middle and not on the side. So every lap that you do, you're not gonna be getting an even coat and it's gonna dry patchy and liney. And you'll see that in your finish. It'll do it as well with the low pressure tips if you're trying to spray ceilings, say, for example, with a 517, if your paint's too thick, like I said, and that's not a fully even equal amount of paint on that test fan, if that's ever so slightly heavy in the middle and you spray ceiling, you're gonna see laps when it's dried. And what I've noticed is if you then change over to say a Tritec, it's a totally different fan pattern. A lot of the tips I use now are the Tritec ones. I just found that they give us a more solid fan because I were having so much trouble with the um, diamond shaping forming with the FFLP or the LP tips. I just swayed away from them for a bit. I do still use them, but I'm mainly using the Tritec Ultras or just the Tritec green ones, the normal ones. So you may be wondering what the little thing in the box is. That's a seat. Got a couple of spare ones here. So that's a seat. And that's a little rubber gasket that goes in the back. Some of the Graco ones come with that little yellowy one. So again, that goes on the back like that. And that's for harsher materials. So when you're cleaning, it's not gonna degrade the rubber because that's plastic. So you probably, you'll swap over to that yellowy one when you're doing more things like lacquers and things like that, where when you come to clean it, it's not, not gonna degrade that rubber one. So if I've been using my Graco, this is mainly the Graco ones that you've just got to worry about this with. With the Tritec ones, they use the same seat for the fine finish ones and the standard ones. It's only Graco that use a different seat with the standard blue ones and the green and the yellow ones. So if you're swapping between the two, you need to swap your seat. Let's see how you do that. So what you do is you take your tip out, you use the point of the tip. So you put the tip in Cheeky. like that sideways. Finger on the back of the tip, push and out it comes. So we're going to use the green one, we use the small hole, not the big. And then they've designed it so you fits on the end of your tip like that. And then you want it so that that lines up. The tip goes in there, so it needs to be 
that way. So again, have a look down there, see if it's lined up properly before you push it all the way in. Is my tip gonna fit in? Yes. Push it all the way. Send it home. And now it's in. It means that my tip can go in and lock in. And now I can spray with the green tips. Like I say, that's just a problem solve you guys trying to use blue rack x tips for the Graco and then swap them out to the green and wonder why you're not getting a nice fan. You won't get a nice fan if you're not using that right seat with that tip. My recommended tips are a 310 for woodwork to get you going and anywhere between a, the 517 that it comes with and a 619. Sometimes I like to use a 516 it just gives you a little, ever so slight slower pace than a 517, finer finish. So on, so on domestic properties, you have a little bit more control. And, and sometimes it's not best to just smash everything out. You know, you can get little overspray with the right techniques and that can help you avoid wasting a lot of material as well. So tip wise, I hope that's covered some of the questions that you might have, or if there's anything that I've missed, pop your questions down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hit the like, hit subscribe, all those things help the channel grow. See you in the next one.